Hi everyone, Steve here from Eating Dental. Uh, and that's Max in the back of the picture there. He's our latest puppy from uh, Leading Dental. So I just want to go through today uh, where some of the O-rings are on uh, motors, on the uh, low speed motors and also on the NSK high speed, cup, uh, high speed hand pieces. So uh, first of all, air motor. This is an, uh, this is an older style uh, titanium air motor. Uh, but um, whether it's electric or, or air, uh, they're all very similar when it's the E-type fitting. Now this one's also got internal water, so it's got one of these little blue O-rings here, um, which is unique to the NSK motors with the water. Um, if you didn't have the water, you'd just have one, two, three O-rings here. So essentially, if you see any damage or wear on any of these O-rings here, then you should buy a new set of O-rings and get those uh, changed. So you'd get a, an O-ring pick or a, a little hand scaler or something with a nice little fine pointer, a little pick to get these off. And then we just roll the new ones on. You can put a little bit of O-ring lubricant, something like some um, LubriJet drops um, from that we sell, which is a Katani product. Um, or you can use that handpiece oil on those just to keep the, um, the O-rings lubed up. So that's the low speed motors. They're similar with air or electric. Um, high speed handpiece. So again, we've got a, one of the older style um, X, X series, X600L titanium here. Now, all the O-rings on the NSK are hidden up under a little shroud here. So what we do is we just grab the end and we just unscrew that. It's gonna expose all these O-rings in here. Now, in this case, we've got one, two, three, four, five O-rings. And if you buy a replacement pack of PTL O-rings, surprisingly enough, you get five O-rings in that little packet. So all you need to do is get a, again, get a little pick um, of some sort that you can get in and get under those O-rings, get them off, um, put the new O-rings on, a little bit of lube on there, again, handpiece lubricant or um, some O-ring lube. Uh, again, that LubriJet drops is one that I recommend, especially the LubriJet drops. Um, you can put a little bit on these threads as well. So anywhere you have a thread, also on the bottom of the motor, anywhere you have a thread, it's a good idea to put a little bit of lubricant on there as well. Um, just unscrew those threads regularly, a little bit of lube on, and then put them back together, because that means that the day that you do need to get it all apart, means it's not sort of jammed up and seized um, and it'll keep everything running nice and smooth so um, anyway look there's a bit of a 101 obviously if you send the hand pieces back to us for maintenance uh, we look at those o-rings and a lot more uh, but that's just a simple user uh, thing that you can do if you've got any chips or damage on any of your o-rings uh, it can be very detrimental to the way that the hand piece works you can have water and air mix you can have loss of power um, all sorts of things that just um, uh, it will mean that your um, handpieces aren't running smoothly.